Hey guys, it's Beta. Today I'm going to review for you an application that was released from Google a couple of days ago to help you manage your mail. No, I'm not talking about Gmail, I'm talking about Inbox. Let's check it out. Up till a few days ago, Google only provided us with one mail application that gave us the ability to access our Gmail-based accounts. And it's Gmail. It's a really good application. It comes pretty much standard across all devices. It actually comes preloaded on most of our devices. But the main benefit of it essentially is that it's organized. It's organized by different, you know, different groups and so on. You also have the ability of looking at the different labels that you had before, which also kind of organize things in the different areas. And here you have, of course, the ability to see, you know, outbox, inbox, draft, and all the good stuff, setting and everything. This has been the standard, this is how it's been, and it's worked pretty well. And you can go in here and you can basically get in and access all your mail, and it's organized in a nice, very nice, you know, long fashion, and you have your primary inbox. Well, as of two days ago, actually, Gmail is still available, you can still use it, and Google is now providing us a, an alternative to that. It's a new application that is in limited release, and I say limited release meaning you can download it from the Play Store, but you can't necessarily really use it till you get an invitation from uh, another person that's using it or directly from Google and luckily I was able to get my uh, invite directly and unfortunately I don't have any invites currently but as soon as I will do I will perf definitely post those on my Google Plus account uh, but the interface is very different you notice the heavy material design setup uh, you go into the settings and tab on the left here you can see the different accounts the same thing it's recognizing that I have multiple accounts uh, now even though you receive the invite for one account which was on my main account, it still co covers any other Gmail based account on your system and it only supports Gmail right now. And you have the ability of going through some of your pre-sended bundles. Uh, and then we're going to go through here a little bit on the left. Uh, you notice that there basically is a, an inbox, a snoozed, a done. Then you have draft, sent, those are the standard labels that you were see we just saw in the actual Google Mail or Gmail app. And then you have these new bundles. And this is, in a sense, the best way they're trying to organize or get it into a situation where you have the ability to have it organized for you. It's more than the standard organization that we had in Gmail. And I say that because we notice here we have travel, purchases, finances, social updates, form, and promos, and you can add more labels. But we'll get into those in a sense. And as I was getting out of the Gmail application, I saw you guys that I was actually in a form-based one. So if I go on to promos, actually this is the wrong one. We'll go here and go to forms. And this is pretty much the same mirrored version of what it was in the Gmail application. So you have the ability of looking into it and you can see within this month I've received this many messages. Uh, there are two different swipes that you can do. You can still swipe. If you swipe to the left, it gives you the ability of snoozing an item, meaning you wanna pay attention to it at a later time. And it gives you the ability of not only setting it by time, uh, but date as well as location. So if you have your preset addresses based into your, uh, let's say into your address book, you're able to pick it. So let's say you want to take care of something when you get home, you ping it to your home or you ping it to back to the office. Uh, the next week, also, of course, you have the left. If you swipe from the left to the right, it's basically saying or marking that thing done. And by means of done, it removes it from this feed and puts it into the the done field, oops, we'll go back to the top, the really the done field that we, we actually normally work with. And essentially what it does, it just aggregates everything else that was in the actual depend, you know, folder and put it in. So if I go under forms, this is the message I just marked done, gets it in, very simple. The logic behind it is really uh, simple and if you use it for a few minutes, you start understanding the concept behind it. So this is your main home, home screen. You have the ability of toggling between all new messages and pinned messages. Pin messages are also a combination of messages as well as notifications or reminders. So you're able to set a reminder using your Google Now, um, either on your device or on your you know, Android Wear device, and it will ping that reminder into your inbox so that you get to see them at the same time. Um, you can unpin and go back into the main feed. It automatically comes pre-sorted, and it's sorted by days, obviously. So there's today, there's yesterday. And as I go in through the emails, I can read them, I can mark them, um, I can actually also go in and just say I want to mark these guys and it gives me the ability to, you know, first tells me how many I marked, if they, what do I want to do if I want to ping them, I want to snooze them for later, or I want to mark them done. Uh, of course you're able to resort and move them into different labels, but that's not exactly all of it. What you also have the ability to do is create your own label. So the example would be, and let's go scroll down. Uh, we have travel everything here and then for me I have a feed or a specific number of emails that I get from my YouTube channel. Go under, there's the unbound, oh that was one more before we get into that. So we can create one right here and I'll just call it YouTube. YouTube. 
And I'll just save that here. And I will go back. And now, when you go through our, uh, our bundled list, we have YouTube as in the unbundled one. So before we get in, kind of get into the end of it, is uh, the ability to actually go in and look at the low priority. This is really pretty much everything else that was in your inbox that you normally would be like, well, I get emails that don't necessarily fit any of these labels. How do I know where my email went? Uh, you can go into the low priority and it basically gives you all the other emails that you normally would see in a list of all the different things you want. And then if you you know realize that these should be, let's say an example with you, these two are people from my YouTube channel, I can go in here and I'll go into my YouTube and I bundle them into my YouTube uh, section. And then that way, every time I go in, it'll recognize that these are YouTube based notification and I'd like them to be in that feed or in that bundle. Of course, it wouldn't make sense for them to roll out an app if they didn't come with the online version of it. And here we have the website, it looks pretty much the same, except at a much bigger scale. At this point, it looks like it's more scaled to the application itself. From what you guys could see, the application is very heavy on material design. It's very nice, aesthetically pleasing. It looks something too pretty. And I say that because that's really what the material design is intending to do. It wants to look pretty, attractive, smooth, fluid, and it does all of these things very well. Uh, Gmail is not a bad application. It just it took a while. It's been stagnant for a while, actually, as far as the way the design has been going. We saw a preview with the Gmail with some material design built into it, but in a sense, it's still really Gmail, the way it's set up. I like the way this is basically set up as far as what it likes to do, as far, and I say that because Inbox is really trying to provide a new way of inter interacting with your Inbox. Now, first and foremost, be, please be aware, this may not make it. This may be something that it just doesn't, you'll never hear about again. Uh, currently, the version of Inbox that's available is by invite only. So you need to be, have an invite either by a person that has Inbox and does have invites or directly from Google. Uh, and you can email them directly using the application once you download it. So it's not super hard to get, but uh, the current version that we have right now is what they initially think this application should look like. So we'll probably see some updates. We'll probably see some incorporations to maybe a web interface as well as the way you make it work better as far as Gmail. It may even replace Gmail. We don't know exactly where the path is, but what we know is it looks nice, it works, and it does exactly what it's intending. It takes a few minutes to get used to because of the way it organizes things. But at the end of the day, it's actually a better way of interacting with your inbox and it puts things in front of you and helps you organize them in a better way. You didn't have a way of basically pinging things to a later time in Gmail. Uh, you didn't have times, uh, things to be able to basically set a reminder to yourself or see the reminders in Gmail the same way you normally see them this way. You have to go into Google now. So it aggregates a lot of different things and puts things in front of you that should be in front of you. The reminders are important. Uh, so get a chance, if you have a chance to get actually the application installed and check it out, uh, let me know what you guys think. It's a nice application. I like it. Uh, I'll be using this as my main uh, Gmail uh, you know, interface as far as checking email on my device uh, till it actually has a better interface or even if till you know Gmail gets updated and maybe then we'll do another comparison. But uh, overall, I like it. Uh, as usual, like and subscribe and let me know what you guys think. Thank you.